All right, today we're gonna check out the touch type tool, which is kind of a neglected tool that I don't really use it that often. I only present it in these tutorials, but they're pretty handy, I gotta tell you that. And then I gotta show you how to do this 3D text illustrator. Let's do this. Step one, I'm gonna select the type tool, type in whatever you want, scale it up, and I'm gonna change the font. I'm gonna go to properties, and I'm gonna go with bueno, and yeah, select the bold and I also going to decrease the distance in between and now we're going to go and long press on the type tool and here we got here the touch type tool shift plus t if you don't have it you also can click here on the three dots and here are the type tools and here is the touch type tool now with this you can create a couple of things you can click on the letter and you can customize it and this way the letter is also non-destructible so for example if I select the type tool I can click on it and change the letter, for example, on letter E or something like that. And basically it's gonna remain in the same position how it was. And I gotta go back and you can do a couple of things too. So I gotta select it and there's this little dot here. With this, you can rotate it. So check this out. I could rotate it like this. I gotta select the letter A, do some wild stuff with these. You also can scale it by the way, but I don't wanna do that. All right, I'm pretty much done with this. I created a pretty crazy composition here, but it's a lot of fun to work with this. And because it is non-destructive, you can select the text and you can go to the type option and maybe change up the fonts, maybe to a serif or something else. And the letter is gonna be still customizable. I think this is really awesome. And from here, I'm gonna select it, right click, create outline. I gotta go and select the color, maybe an orange. And I gotta go to the effects. 3D materials, 3 classics, extrude and bevel. And I'm gonna decrease this to zero and also this rotation to zero. And I'm gonna let the middle one on 26 and increase the extrusion depth. I'm gonna go with 900, click OK. Let's go to object, expand appearance. And from here, I'm gonna go to the stroke, click on the stroke and select the black color. Go to the properties. I'm gonna decrease the stroke to 0.5. And it is looking like this. Thanks for watching.